working on the pineapple tote, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is press it because there was probably a lot of wrinkles when it came out of that bag. So first thing, get it nice and smooth, and then we're going to add some wrinkles. So first thing that you want to do is fold that in half on the long side. So we're going to make that a hot dog fold. And then once we have those edges lined up, you're going to take a ruler and you're going to fold seven inches down. So whichever ruler that you have, once I had that kind of in place, I put that back up on top and checked for that seven inch marking. And then I only ironed in the corner so that I didn't have a ton of lines everywhere else so that it was bothering me while I was stitching. And then I pressed so that I have a nice clear marking right in that center point. And then you're going to reopen once you have that in place. So I have a nice crosshair right there. And we're going to take one of our snowman stickers and we're going to place that. It is very important that we place it as straight as absolutely possible on there. If we get this crooked, our design is going to be crooked. So it's very important that we're placing this exactly on those lines. So all four points of your sticker should be lining up with the four points of your crosshair. Once you have that in place, you're going to go ahead and press that so that it doesn't wiggle around. They have a pretty good amount of sticky. Actually, the first time you use them, you might wanna kind of get them a little less tacky because they do tend to stick extremely well. So again, we're gonna fold in half hot dog and then a seven inches down from the top of the tote. We are going to hoop with our no-show mesh. So we have a single layer of no-show mesh. And then we are going to hoop our tote. I am working in a nine and a half by 14 inch hoop, which is really, really tight. <laughs> so I'm going to need to pull that down so that I am somewhere close to center. I do have the center markings here. I'm getting it as close as possible to the center of my hoop. And I do want to make sure that I use my center markings. So I've got my notches here and here. It doesn't have to be exact because we do have that snowman sticker in there. That's what he's all about is helping with alignment, but we do want to get it as close as possible. Once we have that locked into place, you're going to walk around the hoop and try to get that locked in all the way around. Should have done this before I started the video, but that would have been planning ahead. <laughs> and why would I do that? So I'm gonna pop that back out up here. And get that nice and taut in there because of course, if I'm not nice and tight, we're gonna get puckers, right? We don't want those. So we've got our snowman as centered as possible and we have our tote into that hoop. For all of our XJ1, XE1s, Meridian and Altair owners, this is how you'll bring that design into your machine using the app. So we're going to simply hit embroidery and we leave our kind of information pieces on our phone so we can teach you guys how to use those. You can of course tap that do not display again, but we leave those on there so that you guys can see how that works. At the bottom of the screen, it says easy or advanced. Easy is if you're just taking a picture and putting it on screen. The advanced is if you're gonna use that snowman sticker. So we need to tap the advanced. And then again, it pops it up and it says to affix the embroidery positioning sticker at the location, which in this case is the center of our hoop. We click OK and that will go away. So what it wants me to do now is hold my smart device parallel to the embroidery frame. So we're going to zoom out a little bit and hopefully you guys can see. One more time, we need to hold that above and it counts down on screen, takes the picture, and then it shows us that tote with the sticker right centered on our crosshairs. So here we are 
all ready to stitch, but we need to align the design with the snowman sticker. So on our app, we are ready to send that to the machine. All we have to do is literally tell it to. So we click the button right on our phone app that says send to the machine. You can see that it is sending. It's trying anyway. And it says that it was sent to embroidery. And at the same time, it says, hey, there was an image sent from your mobile app. Would you like to update your image? And you say, yep, please do. We click OK. This is going to move and we get an image on the screen that basically gives us our red drop laser that we need to align. So it gets us as close as we possibly can, but what we need to do is do any fine adjustment right on screen here. So in the hoop, we have a red dot and we need to align that with the belly button of our snowman. So on screen over here, we have arrows and basically we just need to adjust until the red dot is right on top of that belly button. Sometimes it's right on the money and sometimes it is just a hair off. So basically what we want to do is get that red dot to be sitting right on top of his literally belly button. <laughs> Once we have that, we click OK on screen and it will make any adjustments that you have and make sure that you have your design centered on screen.